Well, good morning, Jesus is Lord, and I'm so glad the word works. You know, I hadn't been able to talk to you in several weeks now because Pat's been preaching on how to get your prayers answered, so everything that you've ever prayed for should already be coming to pass in your life. But I want to talk to you today in the next several days about a very important subject, and that's what Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 10. He said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. He also said, the first part of that verse, the thief cometh before to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life. Now let's go over to James chapter 1. It says, do not be in error, my brethren. The King James says, do not err, brethren. Every good and every perfect gift comes from God. So let me read it to you just like it says in the King James. That's the first chapter of James. I believe it's verse 16. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. Then he goes on to say, it proceeds down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness. So this is not complicated, but a lot of believers get it messed up. Good things come from a good God. Bad things come from a bad devil. And God doesn't use the devil to bring bad to teach you something. Oh, yeah, brother, but you know Uncle Doodad was in the hospital and, and the Lord taught him some great things. Now, God won't pass up an opportunity to teach, especially if that's the only place you'll listen. But God didn't do that. And you got to settle that. Well, I know somebody that the Lord took their job. No, no, no. Don't listen to people. Listen to God. Let me read it to you again, John 10, 10. I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly and the thief cometh but for to steal, kill, and destroy. So it's real simple and so many believers get this all squirted up. Uh, and I like what old Charles Cap said back when he was around in his days. He said, the Bible's very easy to understand, but we've had a whole lot of help misunderstanding it. So listen to this. Somebody loses the job, that wasn't God trying to teach them to trust him. That was the devil stealing their job. Somebody loses their health. Now, I'm a little older than a lot of y'all are. Several of you are older. My health should be the same until I'm 120. My eyes grow not dim. My natural strength abates not because I'm under a better covenant than Moses was, and that's what it said about him. So health is a good thing. And I want to point out that the Bible says how God, anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. So all healing comes from God. All sickness, major, mediocre, minor, comes from the devil. You have to settle this in your mind. You have to know that God's a good God, and he wants to bless you with good things. So if it's stealing from you, if it's killing you, if it's destroying you, it's of the devil. But if it's blessing you, it's God. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to stay on this for several days. I'm going to be teaching this this weekend at a couple of the churches over in Atlanta. But God's good, and anything's good you can receive, and the devil's bad, and anything that's bad you resist it. Hey, have a good day. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God that word works.